Hello everyone, and today we're going to be looking at some amazing use cases of OpenAI O3 Mini, which as we know, was released on January 31st, 2025. And this is a free, fast and powerful reasoning model it delivers really strong performance, especially in science, maths and coding, and it responds faster and allows more daily messages than before. And what is noteworthy is that for the first time, free plan users can also try OpenAI's O3 Mini by selecting reason in the messages. So if you don't already have paid the account, what you'll see is that there's a reason button here that you can select to try the O3 Mini. If you're a paid user, then what you get is that you have two options. You can either use the O3 Mini for fast and advanced reasoning or the O3 Mini High, which is great at coding and logic. And what they've also done is that they've tripled the daily message limits. So now we have 150 messages per day, which is up from 50 with the O1 Mini. So let's get started using the O3 Mini and look at some amazing use cases in today's video. So in order for us to get started, we're going to select the O3 general model. So just a fast, advanced reasoning. And for my first use case, I found it really useful in building any kind of personalized HTML landing pages and dashboards and really using it to personalize that output for you. So I'm going to add a prompt here that says generate a modern, visually stunning HTML and CSS landing page for showcasing a research paper. And I've just gone on to chat GPT and I've added some extra elements to the prompt, like follow these detailed design and functionality requirements overall design and layout, colors and theme, I've specified the color, animations and effects, use fade in animations and so on. And then what I've done, because as you see, you won't be able to upload or add any attachments to the O3 Mini. You can see it says attachments are disabled for the O3 Mini. So what I've done here is instead I'm going to copy in my research paper. Then you can see that the model's now thinking. It says the user wants an engaging, dynamic research page, landing page. Sections should alternate with unique layouts, colors and site rotations for visual interest and so on is just thinking and refining the different output. And you can see this was really quick in terms of producing the code. I'm now going to open my HTML landing page. And what you'll see is that it's now given me a really nice looking landing page for my research paper. I've got here the name of the paper. I've got the authors and I've got a bar here at the side that's got the different sections. So I've got the abstract. I've got the key findings. It's even made it a little bit interactive with the boxes and you've got a slight tilt to it. You've got the citations here. And if I even click on the side panel, you can go to it. And this is the result of the first prompt. Now, if I wanted to change this round, I want to change the color. I wanted to change the way that it was styled. I could also do that. But to get that from the first output with O3 Mini, I'm not even using the O3 Mini High. I'm just using the regular O3 Mini. The, the speed and the accuracy that we're now getting with this reasoning model is unbelievable. And for this use case, I just want to show you another example, just to highlight the extent of the accuracy and the interactivity that you can get with building these specialized tools. So I'm just going to add here a prompt that says, write an HTML, CSS, JavaScript tool that allows researchers to create a visual research timeline for tracking key milestones in their research projects. And again, I just got ChatGPT to write me this prompt, just include allow the users to input key research milestones, let users specify start and end dates, display a timeline visualization, and so on. So I'm going to enter that. And again, as you can see, it was really quick and give me the code. So I'm just going to take the code and I'm going to open my HTML timeline. See, this is the way the timeline looks like. So I can just add my steps. So I'm going to add here research plan. And I'm going to add a date here, 8th. And let's say I'm going to finish this on the 12th. I'm going to add this as a milestone. And now it's already started to track the progress. I've got the uh, milestone here at the bottom. I can edit it if I wanted to. So a really nice tool, again, from the first prompt. And it's a fully functional tool that I can use. And let me show you something else that I've created, which was a research paper keyword extractor. And this is a really simple tool where you can add the contents of your research paper and then use it to find keywords. And you can see it's just gone through the text that I've inputted and it's counted the top keywords words that were in that text. So really interesting specialized tools that you can build. So amazing functionality to have with O3 Mini. Okay, so for our next use case, we're going to be using it to conduct some market analysis and based on that, use its reasoning capabilities to come up with a strategy for us. So my next prompt here focuses on conducting a comprehensive analysis of the latest trends in AI driven automation for business growth using data from industry reports, competitive strategies, emerging technologies and experts forecasts to identify these key opportunities over the next 12 months. Then you can see I've asked ChatGPT to give me a full detailed prompt where you can 
can do. And the final deliverable here is a detailed AI-driven business strategy that, based on the research findings, develops a full strategic roadmap, and it outlines the different areas that I wanted to focus on. And what you'll notice is because O3 Mini has the ability to search the web, so I'm going to activate that so that it can then extract the latest information from the different sources as well. So it's now come back with the app, but you can see there's thought for six seconds. It's come back with the AI powered automation tools and their key platforms and their roles. And it's also given me the sources from where it's extracted the information from. So if I go onto that, I can see, for example, the five best AI workflow automation tools in 2025. And then it talks about customer engagement and chatbots. And then it talks about the scaling strategies with AI as well and the operational efficiencies that I can use, some emerging trends. And then it goes on to deliver the actual task, which is the strategic roadmap that I asked it to do and the steps that are involved there's a timeline here there's some risks and mitigation strategies and some even some kpis and then the list of sources that it's used so again another very good job from just the initial prompt where it's had to do multiple elements here it's had to extract the latest sources through its search capability it's had to put everything together and this definitely can be enhanced. I'm not going to say that the output uh, is really precise and detailed, but I can definitely see that with more prompting, this would be a really good way to put together all these different capabilities of the model. Okay, so for our third use case, we're going to be using it to help us solve through problems and come up with practical solutions. I'm going to disable the search function because I don't need it for this prompt. A busy primary care clinic averages 45 minutes patient wait time, leading to frustration, appointment cancellations. The clinic has four doctors and six support staff. Design a practical solution that reduces wait time to under 20 minutes without hiring additional staff or compromising care quality. You can see now how it's thinking through the response. We're aiming to cut patient wait time from 45 Five minutes to under 20 minutes and if i wanted to look at the full reasoning of what it's done i can just open that i'll need to outline workflow changes that could streamline the process i'll also compare the before and after scenario with the table showing the wait time reductions and lastly i'll explain how each staff member can play a role in making this more efficient and then if i look at the output structured workflow improvements and then it gives me a table with the before and after comparison with the different processes so before this is how long it was taking after how it's managed to streamline that and it's come back with a waiting time that is less than 20 minutes and then an explanation of how the solution works the different roles and responsibilities of the staff and how it comes all together so it's a really useful model if you're looking to use its reasoning ability to come up with solutions to problems to have a think through a problem for you and all these examples i've been showing you using the o3 mini with the o3 mini high you can use it to tackle even more complex issues and design better solutions. From testing this model, I found that you're getting very high levels of accuracy and it's very efficient and quick in its response as well. So I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next video.